Hello, my name is Anna and I'm going to present BioInfo Girls, an online symposium in bioinformatics. So women are underrepresented in bioinformatics, that's not news, though it was founded by a woman named Margaret Tehuff. Nowadays we observe remarkable differences between gender ratio in all major bioinformatic fields. In biology, it is more balanced when compared to computer science, but um, when we talk about workshops and scientific events in Brazil, which is where we are from, um, in most cases only men are featured as speakers. And even when females are represented, they are often the minority or they are invited to talk about how it is to be a woman in science and not about their work or research. Having that in mind, um, our main goal was to organize an online event featuring only female speakers in order to highlight the fact that there are women working with bioinformatics, good and talented women, um, even though the, it seems like there are not. Also, we wanted to promote ethnicity and gender identity diversity among speakers and organizers, so we created BioInfo for Girls, um, a space where we can showcase what we know and that we can discuss our work and research. Um, during the event, we discussed seven major topics in bioinformatics, which are introduction to bioinformatics, evolution, omic sciences, structural bioinformatics, machine learning, women in science, and entrepreneurship. The symposium took place online twice a week at night from October 6th until November 5th, 2020. We used um, the platform called StreamYard, which is a live streaming studio in the browser to broadcast the lectures uh, on YouTube. The event was free and the organizing committee was 100% female. Of course, this was never an exclusive event for girls. It is called BioInfo Girls, but men, cis, trans, non-binary, all were welcome to watch. The talks were given in Portuguese and remain available on our YouTube channel. We had 1,705 registered attendees and surprisingly they were from 26 Brazilian states and 18 different countries. As expected, the majority of registered attendees were women, um, more than 800 were, were graduate students and more than 600 were undergraduate students or residents. Most of our audience had never worked with bioinformatics, but wished to do so. Um, there, uh, there was also a lot of people who were currently working with bioinformatics. We asked those who had um, some experience with bioinformatics to choose one or more topics they had already worked with. The most frequent topics were sequencing, um, sequence alignment and databases, and the least frequent topics were machine learning, structural bioinformatics, and systems biology. We also asked them to choose one or more topics they were interested in learning. And the most wanted topics were sequencing, machine learning, and omic sciences. We had a super positive feedback. Um, lots of people complimented the event and the initiative. And here are some of the messages we received. It is impressive to see the panels are usually dominated by men. Seeing so many super competent women talking about science is representative and inspiring. Congratulations. I felt extremely represented seeing so many women in the research field. This was really important to me. I love the lectures. They really motivated me to continue in bioinformatics. I hope there are more events like this. The world, science, and bioinformatics certainly need women like you who work, inspire, and encourage other women. Congratulations. I'll definitely share and participate in the second edition. See you there. So here is a team of women that made this first edition happen. Um, the idea is to organize a 2021 edition, um, and of course we have a lot to improve, but hopefully we will keep finding these extraordinary women and bringing them here to our space, because um, we hope that in the future, when people talk about bioinformatics, they not only remember um, the contribution of great female scientists, but also that we ourselves are the ones talking about these contributions. Um, so this was BioInfo Girls. Thank you for watching.